Hey guys, Rob Hogue here. Uh, I want to do a quick tip for you today on how to minimize the loops and line twists in your spinning reels. Now, trust me, I, I know how frustrating this can be. I, I've taught two, two of my boys how to fish and it, it, it always happens. When you're, when you're fishing with line other than braid, when you're fishing fluorocarbons, copolymers, or monofilament, you're very susceptible to line twists. Um, but there's a trick a little tip that I can give you to help you minimize that because there's nothing worse when you're taking your, your little boy or little girl fishing and you keep getting line twists and then you have to stop and, and fix it. The kid's getting frustrated because he feels like he's doing something wrong and it's kind of giving him a, a bad experience when it comes to fishing. And that's not what we want. We want these kids to have good experiences so they can keep fishing for years to come. So my tip is, your line twists, when, when you're casting these baits, doesn't even come with the cast or anything like that. When you cast this bait out, if you engage that, that reel with the, by turning the handle, you're putting half a twist on your line every time. Okay? So to minimize that, and, and that adds up, you know, seven casts in, you have three and a half twists in your line, and that's how you end up getting your loops. Now... To minimize that, you should always shut the bail. And this is what I teach all my, my kids and uh, anybody I teach fish or I, I help with fishing. Always shut the bail on your spinning reels by hand. So I'll cast out, I shut it by hand, I reel up my slack, and then I go about fishing. That's going to drastically cut down your guys' line twists and loops in your spinning rods. Uh, I hope this stuff helps. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to you real soon in another video, guys. Thanks.